enjoy that beautiful song of the week no join ajita nini mbwayaga yeah jabidi kofupi hiyo dance wengi ndio nasikia come in town so kama uko hapo nje unataka ku feel na sisi karaoke live wa 254 jibamba hapo ndani ha ra <laughs> tunaingia segment moja safi na jita unscripted na hapa tunapata wasanii tofauti tofauti kila kona nchi tubonge nao check industry of vile pia na run na pia unaweza pata space yako pia tuambieni aje na tawaka mtrune kwa ndani ya show yenu ujibambe si ndio ladies and gentlemen wacha check is uh, unscripted vile kuko ama vipi but if you just joining us now Now the hashtag is why uh, the hashtag to get on rather is karaoke why to pay for i'm at feeling jean across all social media platforms i'm talking about facebook instagram twitter even on youtube and today on unscripted we have a dance hall artist a gospel dance hall artist he's a singer he's a songwriter he's a performer and yes like i've told you he's a gospel artist and he goes by the name of J Farm. This is where you get the drums rolling, eh? yeah. <laughs> You're most welcome. How have you, how have you been? How are you Kwanza 22 How have you been and how are you? I'm good, I'm blessed. You're blessed. Kwanza nafikanga hii kwa ngoma zako zote kingdom representing. What does that mean? Is that like your AKA or is it the studio you recorded? Actually kingdom representing is like uh Mm -hmm. It's like a movement, a small movement okay. of uh, dancehall artists. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So you call yourselves Kingdom, kingdom representing, representing yes. because you're representing the kingdom, the kingdom. above. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, welcome to the show. So I'll give you a chance. Would you introduce to yourself fresh? Kwa wale watu wenye hawakujui vizuri, ukitaka kuambia majina zako za ID, huduma namba, nini nini. You go ahead and introduce yourself. <laughs> hey yo. Papa, pari papa. Yamana Donu is the face and the voice of the original GFM Longzilla. Longzilla. Yes. You know when you came I was hoping utakuja na patua. Unajua ile nye. It depends you know uh -huh. uh, to some people when mm -hmm. when you bring patua and thing the them claim say that you your uh, uh, like your inner character you understand yeah yeah i get that and then you just have to be sometimes soft for some of uh, your fans who right. don't listen or don't understand or understand whatever you're saying whatever you're saying yeah. like me right here so <laughs> i think we'll stick to kawaii english <laughs> it's cool it's cool i so. get it but i think we'll just um and we'll stick to kawaii english just because of the guys at home because you have yeah. moms watching kids watching some of them don't really get it so uh, let's start with you are really good at um the kind of music you do you do dance hall music which is really nice so but monoli decide to settle for not actually settle monoli amwa kufanya gospel like you'll do anything usenge kwa una collab maybe na kina conscience you know <laughs> but you you uh, you do gospel why actually uh it doesn't mean that mm -hmm. nikifanya gospel si zifanya collab na watu na conscience and stuff yeah. uh -huh. like uh, for the people who know me well yeah. my fans that yeah. is Uh, what you call conscience they are my good friends yeah. you can go on my social my instagram and then mm -hmm. you'll see some videos when i release a song mm -hmm. they will shoot videos and say big up j farm and stuff yeah. and it is you see me mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter who i collab with as long yeah. as i, I I'm, i'm i'm just uh, spreading the word that i'm supposed to spread right. and i chose gospel because it's the only thing i can give to god mm -hmm. Yes I. You're grateful. Now, I want to know one thing. Like um your music is great, but I've realized um some of your songs you've sampled older songs. And then you've uh, you've worked on them and uh now they are gospel songs, but before they are maybe secular songs, dance hall songs that were secular. And now you've sampled them. Why did you feel the need to do that? Like most of your songs, they really some some of your songs when they start, you'll think it's a different song and then it comes on, you listen to the message you're like wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you know, mbona like uh, I want to understand that. Like uh you've done your own songs, but you've sampled other songs that are really great also. Actually, I've uh, actually I, I've not I've never sampled a song apart mm -hmm. from actually two songs yeah two songs uh, yes, what a friend we have in jesus yeah. of which it's a, it's a gospel song from the hymn books mm -hmm. and then the other one called uh, la 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 mm -hmm. new jamaica yeah the, the original song was done by stanley and the turbines mm -hmm. in the 1890s you what? get it so uh, in the 1890s <laughs> so when i grew up actually i, I grew up uh, from a reggae family yeah my dad and mom and my siblings they used to listen to reggae music yeah. so i grew up by uh, listening to reggae music each and every time you see me so reggae music is life for me 
So when growing up, who influenced your style? Because I understand your family used to listen to reggae, but now who did you want to be like? Like when you're in the, when you start now singing, who did you want to be like? Who influenced you? <laughs> like uh, in a big way. <laughs> in a big way. Yeah. Actually, I, I used to listen to people like Joseph Hill, that mm -hmm. is the mighty culture. Mm -hmm. uh, people like um, Bob Marley sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also people like Papa San, mm -hmm. people like Omari, mm -hmm. people like Adija Pava, and so many people. Yeah. yeah. All right. And um, I realized most of your songs, you collab with DJ Raf. Is it like, uh, are you guys working under the same group? Yeah. Are you two? Uh, why is that? <laughs> I realize that most of your songs, he's part of most of your songs. Actually, mm, you are the second person to tell me this thing <laughs> today. Yeah. <laughs> mm, me and DJ Raf, we have, uh, I don't know if it's a bond or something mm -hmm. tighter than that. You see yeah. me? Is one brother who is closer than a rope twist to me. Mm -hmm. You see me? So I treasure DJ Raf so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, me and him, we, we, we bond too much. Too much. When it comes to music, yeah. you know, he is a DJ. He's a DJ, so yeah. So whenever I do a song, even this song, Paripapa, yeah. I was supposed to do with him. Mm -hmm. Then I sent it to him and I said, bro, listen to this song. Tell yeah. me what you think about it. Mm -hmm. And he said, this one is good if you do it alone. Mm -hmm. That's why you so, decided to do it uh, alone. That's why yeah. I did it alone. But uh, when it comes to this kind of feel good music and mm -hmm. these uh, old school uh, music and thing. Mm -hmm. I always prefer to collaborate with uh, different artists, artists you see yeah, so, so that, that I can bring uh, a things. different taste. Yeah. Because you see in Kenya and especially in gospel, reggae, reggae dance and music is not appreciated that mm -hmm. much. You see mm -hmm. me like uh, th those other genres and things. You see me. So I always try to bring something that can blend in with the mm -hmm. with whatever they want to hear. Right. Yes. So, Pari Papa, what was it all about? How did it come about? Like, um, tell us about e everything, the writing process, the video, everything. Because it's such a great jam. It's a big tune. It's been it's been played. Like I've seen it played. Like I don't know in many events, and I even saw you perform at a certain event. Um, I think like uh, two months ago. You performed it in the energy you brought. <laughs> what? You have to tell us, first of all, okay, tell us about Pari Papa, then you tell us where you get the energy, because, man, when you're performing, the energy is just on another level. <laughs> Actually, Pari Papa is a song that uh, mm -hmm. we used to sing mm -hmm. when we were still kids. Yeah. So that vibe, you see me, so mm -hmm. that vibe was just sweet from when we grew up and thing, you see me, yeah. so... Uh, I, I, I just thought of uh, bringing something that is going to cut across mainstream, mm -hmm. not just dancehall, not just gospel, but something that is going to, to cut across everybody. You see me? Yeah. Yes, I. So that's right. why I, mm -hmm. I, 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 I was just juggling with the thing. Pa, 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 pa. Something like that. And then yeah. <laughs> inside, in, in, inside, in, inside the chant, I bring in the, uh, the positive vibe, the positive yeah. message and thing. You yeah. see me? Yes, right, because the youth need to be talked to. What do you think about what people, like um, right now we're talking about their mental health situation in the 254, and not just 254, like across. But now the youth, what's happening, like people really don't know how to deal with issues. What will you tell your fans or just the youth that are watching you right now? Like, because people need posi positive vibrations. They need some Ooh, they, people mental need, uh, stuff. positive yeah. vibration and... Uh, Right now, actually, uh, when, when you compare the youths of now mm -hmm. and then the youths of 20, 2010, 2011, yeah. 2012, they are very different, They're according very different. to my, my, my yeah, point of true. view. Because you see, right now, mm -hmm. when you go to clubs, mm -hmm. young people are ruling over the clubs. Like mm -hmm. you see, someone is 16 years, 17 years, 18 years, you see. They are ruling the club right mm -hmm. now. So you see, it's... It's kind of saddening and thing. Yeah. Assume, it's not good at all. Mm -hmm. So maybe the parents have failed, or mm -hmm. maybe the teachers have failed. Mm -hmm. Maybe the church. Actually, the church is one of the things that failed long time ago. Yeah. What do you so think the church should do? Because the, the, the church is very judgmental. The church is very fake mm -hmm. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is why you see a gospel artist like uh, failing to do one thing, and then the, the pastors will come out like, hey, you see this guy? He's a fake. We told you this guy is a gospel artist, a fake <laughs> and thing. You see me? You understand? Yeah. So, and then when a pastor does something, 
no pastor will come out and say, oh, you see, these pastors are yeah, fake. Yeah, now he's calling them out. Yeah. What we always say as, as, as Christians or as gospel artists, mm -hmm. what we always say is that what will Jesus do? Mm -hmm. You see? If Jesus was here right now and then you go wrong, what will he do? He will not condemn. I, I don't think he'll The condemn. issue is not even condemning. Yeah. The issue is just welcoming the person, not yeah. chasing, not chasing, chasing him away. people away. You see, yeah. like you see someone, for example, my uh, uh, two brothers of mine went yeah. wrong. You see, it's just that, it's not that uh, they are the only people who go wrong. Mm. We always do wrong. Even maybe theirs are just, uh, uh, whatever they did is, um, was just something small compared yeah. to whatever we do in the in dark. Every day, yeah. You, you, you see me? Yeah. So, uh, the church decided to like punish them in one way or another. When I'm talking about the church, I'm not talking about their pastors. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the people who call themselves who the church, church and, yeah. uh, and the gatekeepers and, yeah. and stuff. Uh, them fake, you know. <laughs> fake. I get that. Yes, now, I. let's talk about um, your journey. It's um, now 2019. After Pari Papa, what else are you prefer What else are you preparing for us? What should people expect? Your fans and just uh, anyone maybe who's watching you right now, what should they expect from you? After Pari Papa, yeah. we have a whole a big deal business. Mm -hmm. We have a whole a big tune. Mm -hmm. And um, what I can say is just my fans mm -hmm. to just uh, wait mm -hmm. and hold on. <laughs> this month actually we go oh. we go and go bring something big, something better. Yeah. Big bad collab, especially yeah. with DJ Raf again and oh. three other people. Amazing. Yeah, them go and go sing over and over mm -hmm. and over like a choir. Any international collaboration yes. coming through? Yes, I have international collabs. Oh, and I'm not nice. going I'm not going to talk <laughs> about them because uh, You should you should tell us for people to look forward to that. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> they should just, just wait. They should just wait. Wait right. and wait and wait. When the when the right time comes. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna be a big tune. Ever big, big, big bad tune. Like uh, the last uh, mm -hmm. international collab I did. Actually, not, not the last, mm -hmm. the second last international collab I did, I did with Omari yeah. from Jamaica and mm -hmm. it won three awards. Yeah. One in Kenya and two mm -hmm. in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And this one now, the coming, oh, January star. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're looking January. forward to that. Now the show is karaoke live right here, so you know that means karaoke has a lot to do with singing. Yeah. So for you as J fam, we want you to do something for us. You can just say maybe Pari Papa or just any any of the but Pari Papa is the latest one, so maybe that one you can just sing for us. Just a, a cappella, just a little bit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know the the problem with J fam is that most of my songs mm -hmm. I normally do them on studio. So yeah, I know that. So when, <laughs> That's when it's it a comes challenge. to, to a cappella, yes. But, 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 but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna All try. Right. Yes. That's why we song. love it, because it's fun, it's okay. challenging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, when you're ready. When you're when ready? I am ready. Yeah, when you're ready. Always born ready. All right, so <laughs> I take it away then. Yo, which camera? <laughs> Uh, camera four. Camera this four, one. yes. All right. One them them into bad mind. One them them into obia. Eh. One them them into bad mind. One them them into... When you see the obia man, you have to tell them figure. Way, make them know so we can lick with them. When hey. you see the licky licky, you have to tell them figure. Way, let them know so we... Oh, Lord, have mercy, hey. mercy, mercy. Some people, them, your minds are dirty, dirty. Eh. Hey. Oh, Lord, have mercy, mercy, mercy. Some people, them, your minds are freaky, dirty. Eh. Hey. Lord, have mercy. If you think so, we do pan the dark. Some of the things we sing in at the studios. One the day. things we do on the streets. <laughs> coupon, coupon, coupon the videos. Pa, pa. Pari, pa, pa. Hey, pa, pa. Pari, pa, pa. Make us a pa, pa. Pari, pa, pa. Yeah, hey. pa, pa. <laughs> Give thanks. Give thanks for life. That was nice. You tried. I didn't think you'd pull it off, but you Actually, really tried. Actually, uh, yeah. the person who knows the song very mm -hmm. well, they will know that I, I, I did some mistakes in... In, in the lyrics. Yeah. I wasn't sure about <laughs> some things, but anyway, we give thanks for life. Yeah, we give thanks to life. Now, yeah. where can people find you on social media for someone looking to connect with you or just talk about your, you know, talk to you about her collab or want to work with you or, you know, call you for an event? How do they reach you? Actually, I, I, I have a CBO, mm -hmm. a community based organization. Mm -hmm. I, I, I try to talk to you it's about drugs, mm -hmm. uh, people who are going through. Uh, struggles uh, like marijuana, yeah. uh, what do you call this, Mira, mm -hmm. 
alcohol, mm -hmm. cocaine, heroin, and any other drug. You see me? So me, me, me have a CBO. Mm -hmm. uh, me, had, me had deal with it, and then me do something like outreach door to door. Yeah. Door to door outreach to door to door like um, what do we call door to door rehabilitation and okay. thing. You see me? Down in Madare. Yeah. Slams. Oh, so Madari. Shout yeah. out to 1930. No, 2930. 2930 is Madari North. Yeah. But um, our Madari, I don't think we have um, a specific stage. Oh, oh okay. just okay. Juja Road, the whole Juja Road and stuff. Oh, <laughs> yes, Madari. The whole of Madari. Yes, sir. That is yes, really sir. nice. And you have an event coming up on yeah. the um, on the 18th, 18th of this month. Yeah. yeah. Color invasion. invasion. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Tell us about that. How? Wh what should people bring? How is it? How are you prepping for that? <laughs> Actually, I'm just, uh, I don't know what to tell the people right now yeah. about this because yeah. what I prepared mm -hmm. for this day, mm -hmm. General Star. All right. Yes, I, so people should come. Mm -hmm. Color Invasion, mm -hmm. 18th, yeah. on Saturday. Right. Do you know where it will be? Yeah, it's Kahawa Sukari. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be hosting yeah. alongside DJ Tieska. <laughs> yes, DJ I, Talk. Yes, we'll I. have Val. We'll have Ken Relby. It's going to be uh, a lot of white FFO presenters. Yeah. We'll have J-Fam, Boss Emoji. We have so many guys coming it's, through. It's yeah. going to be one of the biggest events in this yeah. in, in, in this month. You see me? Right. Yes, and I'm I. looking forward to that. I'm energy. To full see. blast energy. Yeah. 18th. So, May. 18th May, Kahawa yes, Sukari. Yes, Karaoke yeah. team, you have to be there. And charges are very affordable. Just 400 bob advance and 500 bob at the gate. You cannot miss this one. Now, JFAM on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram? JFAM on Facebook is mm -hmm. JFAM Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, mm -hmm. everything is JFAM Kenya. JFAM Kenya. JFAM mm -hmm. Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yes, I. All right. And your music is also available on YouTube. On YouTube, Dundo. iTunes, mm -hmm. Dundo. The last time I uh, the last time I up, upload music via Mdundo is long, a long time ago. Yes, I, so iTunes, iTunes yeah. Amazon, <laughs> Google Play, Tidal. Right. Yes, sir. So guys, go support him at JFam Kenya. That's on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course on um, Snapchat, <laughs> Snapchat. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> go support him. Like his music. Share uh -huh. if you can buy. Don't just download. You can also buy just to support him, and that would be amazing. Well, thank you so much for I, coming. I through. don't like Snapchat by the way beca because of the sun. Oh, the filters. <laughs> 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 filters and then you meet people in real life and yeah, they don't yeah, look yeah, like yeah, what yeah. they look like on snapchat so on snapchat i look like mj <laughs> and then here i look i look like dj shitty <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, that's true though that's true <laughs> <laughs> true i look like shitty no like oh. snapchat oh, filters okay, okay. line <laughs> okay. But okay, maybe she without the locks, maybe maybe without the locks. Uh, she uh, doesn't no. have. <laughs> she looks good. Yeah, but he doesn't have locks. Maybe if you didn't have locks, you'd look like uh, him. The beard, the beard. Yeah. And then right. he's <laughs> yeah, he's, you are white, but then you you are like a six two or something. I, what are you? Are you you six? No. Thirteen, fourteen. <laughs> 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 I'm long, not tall. Yeah, you're long. Yes, He's I very am. tall and Shiti is a bit short. But shout out to DJ Shiti as well. Do follow um, J Farm Kenya. Do follow at Philin Jean on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube as well. The hashtag as well is karaoke y254. At karaoke live y254. That's on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram, karaoke underscore y254. We still have more show for you, so stay with us. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And thank you so much for watching.